Recreation. Parks and Recreation for two hundred and fifty thousand nine hundred and eighty four dollars. Wait a minute. You took the whole enchilada. No, that's the line. Oh, that's the line. Five twenty, right? Forty five. All right, the second here. The second. Correct. Forty five twenty. Okay, Mike. Two four four nine. Discussion on this. Two five zero. Nine eight four. Okay, that's where I see where he is. He's at the very bottom. Yeah. So that's a, that was adjusted from the total parks and rec. Is that 25 20? Yeah. He's, he's got administration, two, maintenance two, of parks, yeah. all the way down. Nine, eight, four. Just right above total parks. Total is 250984. Yeah. On page 51. This must have been another one of those lines that were adjusted by the board of selectmen after the default budget worksheet was sent out. Mine dated 123115 has 250,984 on it. Yep, so well, mine's dated, same one. Yeah. Mine's dated, dated 12 31 15. I don't know what date. Mine's 10 20. No one right I'm looking at 1 5 16. A 250 984. Is that the number? That's the yeah. number I have also. I just have an older version. I have a 12 okay. 31 version. All right, as long as we have the same version. All right. Discussion on parks and recreation. Anybody? Okay. I have, I have discussion. Um, lifeguards I'm troubled with lifeguard program last year we didn't have it and the two years prior to that it was very difficult to get people for it um, when we asked Diana we didn't know if they were going to go forward with the program or not um, <coughs> I'd like to remove that from this budget that's on page 49 to 16 six yeah. point all right it's the last line item in administration and, I, and I'll, I'll say it from this standpoint. First of all, I'm one of those water babies. I'm water everything. So I'm very in favor of things usually when it comes to things like this. In my life, I've been a lifeguard, and I've trained lifeguards. And you give yourself a lot of exposure to be understaffed, to leave somebody out there and be shorthanded, all right, to post that we have lifeguards on duty and not have lifeguards on duty. I think since it's shaky ground and the state keeps trumping us for what they're paying and lifeguards are going to the state and not to us, that we might be better off right now if we just leave um, this as posted as no lifeguards on duty and get out of the liability end of it. Um, not that Diana hasn't tried. It's just a very difficult thing or it has proved a very difficult thing to staff um, for us ever since the, the state dumped it in our laps with no funding. So rather than have something that's not totally there, puts anybody in jeopardy, including the people working in it, including the lifeguards themselves, um, I would choose to unfund this. It wasn't fund. It, it, didn't work last year, we did not have lifeguards. Um, and the determination as to whether or not we were going to have them this year is not there either. So with that doubt, I would ask that you, uh, that there's a motion to take out 18,000. Okay, I'll, I'll make the motion, but I want to be able to discuss it. Okay, second? Well, I'll second it, but I want to ask Diana a question. Yeah, me too. D All Diana, right. what are we doing with lifeguards? <laughs> well, <we have> <laughs> I tell you, we don't find it. <laughs> well, that's why I'm asking. Um, well, we're hoping to have lifeguards again this year. We're at, we'll be advertising for it again, but I'm not going to put lifeguards out there that aren't certified. I mean, we've had a number of people apply for jobs that are not certified. I like, but, but they have to be certified to go out there, and we need five. We need five of them to do the job correctly. And that's what happened last year. Didn't last didn't year that. we only had two. And about I said we're before. not going to do it. About the year before. Or post the year right? before we had six. The year before that? And the year before that we had five. Now we post when we're not. Correct. We say no lifeguards on duty, swim at your own risk. Correct. And, and I, I will say that I'm not the only one that can't find lifeguards. Rye was calling me looking for lifeguards. The state just barely made it with enough lifeguards. All around New England, the talk around parks and rec professionals is the hardest thing that they do all summer is trying to get lifeguards. Coast? On the seacoast? No, in, the, in New England. Everywhere. Everywhere. Let me make a point, though, on this. If we take the money out, 
that's fine, but then she won't be able to get any lifeguards. I mean, she won't even know if she gets a, re a capable of getting a response. So I think, what is it, it's a rock and a hard place. Either you completely do it or you completely don't do it. Well, I know she's advertised, and I know she's tr had serious attempts going to UNH and putting articles in papers, and she's struggling. She's struggling with this line item. Okay. I, I, I'm kind of ambivalent on this. I, 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 I don't want to be the one pointed at that he voted against lifeguards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I guess. So yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I would need. I think I need the, the courage of convictions from Diana. Diana. Yes. Put the time for three again. <laughs> um, so I understand that you're going to get five lifeguards, or you're going to get no lifeguards. You're going to get five or more lifeguards, or none. Is that the way it comes down? Well, the way the way that the program should work to be very successful is to have five lifeguards. Right. So your policy. And that way, we have two guards at at both spots all the time because one will be doing breaks. I perfectly understand. Right? I just want to be clear that your policy, your policy essentially is you have five or more lifeguards or you have zero lifeguards. And you're having a yes. hard time acquiring them. And now one more professional estimation from you, if I might. Mm -hmm. What would you guesstimate would be the probability of getting five lifeguards next year? I don't know. It, it's very bizarre because the year before last, I had six. Mm -hmm. Last year, I had two that wanted to work. So what are we going to have this year? Depends on how popular it is to be a lifeguard again. Uh, it's hard to say. So I would like to get five again. Well, independent of liking or loving or whatever, but the bottom line is you have no sense at all of whether the probability is high or low of getting a lifeguard. I don't really have a sense, and I hate to say that out loud, but it's just... Oh, you right know, this is a perfect situation. Everybody's been saying it's not. It's a perfect situation, it seems to me, for us to put money aside in a lifeguard fund that you can draw on when you do find lifeguards, and that can sit there when you don't find it. But we don't have that option in this body at this time. No. But, of course, the Board of Selectmen do, uh, and I will say nothing more than that. <laughs> it's too late to issue a water article at this point. Right. Well, it's not too late for next year. It's always, wait till next year, right, Fred? Right, that's exactly <laughs> correct. If you I'm a baseball fan, it, what can I say? Wait till next year. <laughs> if you do remove it, you understand that the default sum for lifeguards goes to zero. No, yeah. I'm saying if you had a fund for lifeguards. You'd have, to, you'd have to do a warrant article to create the fund. Exactly. Because you would never have it in the budget. And, 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 and right, and that would be a good thing. I think, that's what he said. I think so, too. Mm -hmm. should have it as a contingency anyway. Basically a contingency fund, yeah. You know, and, and, uh, I don't so know anyway, that's, that's an idea that we can't deal with today. I have no clue what to do with this, Diana. What happens if we don't have any lifeguards? We, we put up a sign that says sign. swim at your own risk, right. which is, in my opinion, the sign we should have up even when we do have lifeguards. <laughs> well, that sign is up, and it says the hours that the lifeguards are out there and the hours that you are swimming at your right. own risk. Do you notice, do you notice any, any adverse uh, uh, results of not having lifeguards? I mean, most of the beach is still covered with the state. I get a I mean, lot of complaints that we don't have lifeguards. I get a lot of complaints that we don't have lifeguards. You get a, so you get a lot of phone calls. Yeah, is it local phone calls mostly? or So it's local phone calls? Yeah. Okay. I think the uh, Chairman, I'll move the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jim? <clears throat> I, I, I can't support cutting that out um, at all. I think we're doing a disservice to, uh, what is it, Place Cove? Place Cove and Sun Valley. Okay. I mean, I, I don't know how you just, if the state is trumping us with money, then maybe what we should be doing instead of taking the money away is putting a little money in it so that we can advertise a little bit higher rate than the state. We're looking for five. The state's looking for 30, 50 whatever. whatever. Is, yeah. Why don't we advertise a little bit higher rate? I don't, I don't know how we can even contemplate thinking that we can take two areas of town and say, well, we couldn't find anybody, so swimming your own risk. I, because something is hard, I don't think you abandon it. I'm not right. knocking your approach on this. Yeah. I'm saying if something is hard, then we work harder and smarter to find a way. And if that means we have to offer another 50 cents an hour than what the state's getting and pull some people up then, then we do it. They're going to find, more they're gonna find people. How much more would you need to trump the state, do you think? I think they're pretty similar, actually. They right are pretty now. similar. Based on your testimony at the, at the thing, you thought that you thought we were almost equal. Right. They're very so. similar. 
if we went a little bit higher, instead, then, or, or, you know, or, or let's look at this in, in some other ways. Are, are we advertising the right way? Are we advertising on social media? Um, rather than newspapers, because the, the kids, young people are watching exactly, social kids, media. Yeah, kids who are going to take that job aren't reading the newspaper for jobs. They're right. looking at social media. Right. Um, and I will say that I have enough money in the budget right now to do a long period of time, which historically I haven't been able. To, I haven't been able to get lifeguards say um, Labor uh, Memorial Day weekend, so I could if given permission to do that, I could raise the salaries a little bit and still have enough money the way that we are, just have a shorter season, which is what we've been having. Yeah, a shorter season would be better than no season. Right. So, that's I, just my I would, I would, I was actually gonna raise the point that Jim made um, to make us more competitive, steal maybe a few from the state. Obviously the state isn't giving us, I mean, it's been a big topic of discussion. We're not getting a lot back from the state money-wise. Yeah. If we take a couple of their employees, and make the beaches that we have uh, safer. I think that's a better service than stripping the money out and not even giving us the option to pursue it. I do like Tim's idea of creating a fund f moving forward, but I think in the short term, in the interim, I would I would recommend increasing this line item to make us more competitive, have a good full season, fully staffed beach. Um, I, I I don't have a. I'd be more than happy to make a motion for an increase. Um, I, I, I so what kind of looking for a number though. What does the state pay and what do we pay? Then? I don't know off the top of my head. We pay twelve dollars an hour for the head lifeguard and ten dollars an hour for starting lifeguards. Mm -hmm. I got Ten. one lifeguard that um, would have worked last year that would probably work this year, and I would probably want to give her a little bit of a raise. Ten dollars seems like. Like the low amount of money. Yeah, I mean, you can make that work at Mickey you're not, D's. You're not up against only yeah. the state. Yeah. Right now, water country is yeah. eating up right. a lot yeah. of your, yeah. your lifeguards. You don't realize that. And if you're a lifeguard, here's your option. Go to the beach where you have a danger or go in a pool where you stick out a pole. That's an easy choice for somebody who's a lifeguard. So, Madam Chair, would you be willing to withdraw your motion in favor of a motion that increases this? Isn't there a training program required to be? I didn't make a motion. I asked for a motion, and I I'm making it from. I made it the request it? from the standpoint of liability. It's an all-or-nothing yeah. situation. I also would have no problem if Diana chose or wasn't able to. Well, we discussed this already. If that eighteen thousand dollars was left in her budget and she did not use it for this program to be able to access it for other things she might need. Other than that program, I can't make that call. That'll depend on how the year goes. But I just didn't want to allocate $18,000 for something that might not be spent. It might end up with another department to go for something else. Oh, I can withdraw it at any time. I'm just wanting to make sure that's what we want to do. I'm fine with withdrawing. I'll withdraw it then. Favor a motion that would be increased. No, I'll just withdraw it, and you guys can do what you want to do. Uh, so if the motion, I'm sorry, Tom. No, it was your idea. Well, you I was going to say if the motion was withdrawn, would we entertain a motion um, to increase it to 23, which would be an addition of $5,000, which gives you some wiggle room. That was the number I was thinking of okay. as well. But she already said she has the money. Right. She has extra she money available. If she needs, It'd be a shorter but it would be a shorter season. Would be a shorter season. season. She, she right, but she hasn't been able to fill those shoulders. Right, right. Anyway. I'm saying anyway. let's start the whole season. Let's well, have no, enough the, money. There. Everybody she says she has school. a problem filling those ends because the kids mm. are still in school, right? Yeah. right. Is that it? Well, I didn't say because they're still in school, but I, I have historically I have not had. I've only had like one season where they started early. Most, most, will more money, such as twenty-three thousand dollars, significantly increase the probability of getting five lifeguards? I think if I pay people enough, they'll come. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that you can say a significant increase. Yeah, that's okay. a significant Madam Chair, I second Mr. Lachlan's motion. To raise, raise it to 23000 23. And what I will do in return, <coughs> everything passes or whatever, I will uh, see what everybody else is paying and make sure that we're paying. Uh, 
Just so top them. Top them. Should be able yeah. to top them with yeah. 23. Right? You can't top them by a dime or 15 cents or 50 cents. Yeah. You got to top them. No, Wait a minute. You know, the kids want to be <laughs> at the school. This is Jerry. I know. It's all, it's all <laughs> Jim. Let's vote. All right, Brian. Um, who pays for their training? They do. They do. Yeah. It's big money. I was yeah. a lifeguard too. It's around three thousand, three hundred dollars to become a lifeguard, and it's a long, it's a long drawn out yeah. course. My wife was yeah. taught for twenty years, yeah. and I was going to say oh, it adds up to get recertified. Yeah, every, and I uh, think that's a lot of the reason that kids kind of feel like, yeah, I have to pay the $300, but I'm not in favor of paying for someone to go take a lifeguard course and then have them say, oh, you know what, I'm going to go work street. for Ryan's Well, Well, it's the same you know thing we mean? fall into with the police department. Although, yeah, although, if we're increasing it by five grand, you could take 1500 to offer to pay for the course and then make them sign a contract to work for us for the season. Well, you give but them a bonus if they stay till Labor Day. Or something. Well, look, yeah. all that's management decision. We've right. given them the flexibility yeah. by right. giving them money. Let's vote. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Let's vote. Yeah. All right. Let's vote. There was a motion. By who made the motion? I made Jim. the motion, Jim. Jim. Looking forward to Mr. Bean's Jim vote second. on this one. All right, all those in favor of increasing that line to $23,000. It's unanimous almost, on, Mike, Mr. Chief. Come on, be unanimous. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed? Opposed? There's an art to persuasion. Oh, the money that was the issue? Okay. I don't know. I can't. don't I really know what the She's going to find out. So... Oh boy. So that was right. park and recreation. We're all done with yeah. that. We can vote for the bottom line on that. All now. right. So that increases so it to two. So adjusted total I have is two five five nine eight four for okay. parks and recreation forty five twenty. So I assume your guy beside you concurs. Motion. Okay. Can I second that motion? Motion. Yes. I second that. Tim. Yes. Okay. Nothing. I have favor. no idea how it relates to the default. Yeah. All those in favor. All right, unanimous. Did, Mike, did you put your hand up on that? Yes. Thank you, dear. No, I, I voted. I voted no, not not because of that. Okay. Know, you wanted to take Mike's vote of I no. I had the three <laughs> articles in there: not the five for the skateboard, the two for the playground mm -hmm. surfacing, and the two for the building expense. I wanted not to go into the warrant out. I didn't want it to be in the operating budget. Okay. And I don't want to take it out of here. No, not take it out of here. Next year. So I I vote no.